Good morning and thank you for being here for the uh, monthly update of the Hedge Investment and Credit Fund for the month of January. January was a decent month for us. We're up uh, close to 1%, predominantly out of our uh, corporate and financial book, where positions such as the Telecom Italia Capital Structure Trade and um, Monte di Paschi Lower Tier 2 have performed very strongly. Away from that, we suffer a little bit on Oil Brazil again. We marked down the bonds in the uh, mid single digits after the company has announced that he probably going through another uh, um, proceedings, although we do expect this time to proceed to be a much quicker process and possibly we see recovery rate of the bonds in the 20 to 30 uh, cents on the dollar while the bonds are trading uh, consistently below 10. Um, overall, we did pretty well across a variety of names uh, which had a very strong performance, but we did suffer on our macro position in which was probably too uh, negative and too bearish for the beginning of the month of the year, sorry, that um, resulted in one of the best start of the year uh, in January 23. Um, going forward, we um, remain quite uh, worried about quantitative tightening. We think that's going to be a major, major driver of uh, uh, valuations and market performance. We think the quantitative tightening we have witnessed is not exactly what we will see in the next few months. Um, because in the States, Federal Reserve has been very uh, attent um, and uh, very careful about how to de uh, deleverage their balance sheet. But at the same time, the uh, debt ceiling uh, limitation has created a, an artificial uh, supply uh, of cash. Away from that, in China, we had plenty of uh, money, monetary uh, injection because of the Lunar Year uh, celebration, while in Europe, the QT hasn't even started. Uh, and obviously, this within a context where Japan keeps on pumping liquidity every month. We think that pitch could uh, dramatically change over the next few years, uh, sorry, few, 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 few months and terms, and that because of that, we remain quite skeptical on this rally, which we doubt will be able to be sustained over the year. We also expect inflation to be a lot more stubborn so we remain very much focused on credit selection, long and short equity and credit. Um, there's plenty there's going to be plenty of uh, stress in this stress situation. We spoke about OI. Another good name for us has been Orpea, where we got into the uh, bonds where after the um, overdone sell-off uh, into the uh, end of last year, and we've been exiting the bonds in the I-20s now. Um, main focus is going to be credit selection for us. Um, lots of fundamental analysis and plenty of... Uh, refinancing restructuring going through uh, over levered balance sheet in the next uh, uh, few months. Uh, at the same time, on the macro, remain skeptical. We're trying to keep um, a relatively cautious position there and trying to be more on the short side rather than on the long side. Um, and we expect plenty of capital structure opportunity, whether they are on Telecom Italia or Coinbase, where overall that seems relatively cheap compared to uh, equity valuation, which still seems pretty expensive. Thank you.